Um, this is uh, uh, the picture of the euro versus U.S. dollar. It's an hourly chart up here. And um, what um, what I want to what what uh, I have here on the chart. Well, I'll introduce what I have here on the chart. I have a uh, green line that represents the 200 hour moving average. It's always uh, it's my uh, it's simple moving average. It's, that's the one I use, um, or one of the two I use. And this blue line represents the 100 hour simple moving average. Okay. The other tools that I use, I use uh, trend lines, and I use uh, Fibonacci uh, retracements. Now, um, you'll notice here that there aren't many uh, trend lines. I can put one in, let me put one in, say, cut across um, here, one, two, three, kind of break a little bit below it, move a little bit higher, higher here. So uh, I, can, I can use uh, that. Um, but um, I also have uh, what I call horizontal, horizontal trend lines or what I call remembered lines. Uh, and uh, these come into come into play in a non-trending, smaller trend type market environment. So this goes back almost to the first of, of the month. The first five days of the month were kind of trending to the downside, quickly, fast, directional. And then we got into this section of the uh, month where the market starts. You know, we're trend, we're continuing the trend down here and move a little bit up, and then we trend down and move move back up. But but this area right here is an area where the market was what you know has been non trending. Non trending basically in this area with some moves to the downside, you know, up and down type of moves. And uh, you can see you can see where it started to develop right here. This is more of a trend to the downside, finishing off the trend. But when we started to get in this area, we started to see things happen here that were not usual, okay? Not typical. And when I mean not typical, I look at like these V's within a day, V's within a day, move to the upside, move to the upside, move to the downside, move to the downside, move to the upside, move to the downside, move to the upside, move move back to the downside. I look at these here, this, this, this um, formations as being abnormal. It's not normal. It's not normal to have a trend type move fast and directional to the downside, fast and directional to the upside, um, being followed by a fast and directional move in the opposite direction. And so I start to turn my uh, turn myself around into thinking, um, all right, this market is not trending anymore. It's more non-trending. Um, I got to change my, my way of looking at the market to more of I, I like the market. Let's see where it goes, this relationship goes. Uh, and from opposed to I love the market, like I love the, 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 this this trend move to the downside, much different than what we're seeing here. Now there are little trends along the way, and and lo and behold, we did break down to the downside, and you got you got clues to this uh, break to the downside outside of this 10-day trading range from these kind of horizontal remembered lines. So when the market non-trends. What I like to do is is find these, uh, and this is a non-trending period right here, is find these areas where the market tends to find support and resistance, find those those ex those extremes or the or, or those areas within the non-trending area where there's there tends to be a lot of reaction, a lot of um, uh, energy at those levels, and I'll j I'll just put horizontal lines across horizontal lines or horizontal trend lines across the screen at those levels. So let me uh, give you an an example. Uh, so let's look at um, uh, well up here at the highs. You know, so we have the this high right here, and pr prior to that we have you know a, a few ceilings here at this level, and so these ceilings kind of come into play here. And this break to the upside here, we have one, two, three, you know, four different bars in our early chart. The market breaks to the upside here. We're making a, 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 a break like in the Olympic uh, bike race I was watching the other day. Move away from the from the pack right here. And what happens? He, he makes them move away from the pack, and what does it do? It fails. And we reestablish this high, this ceiling here, in this bar right here. See it right there? And that starts this trend to the downside. Failure up here, move back to the downside. So the market then starts to move, 
continuation of the trend to the downside. Now, now we get this re retracement up here here um, after this trend ends. We start to get and look where look where the market starts remembers finds that resistance and we find the early sellers against this old high this old ceiling here. So we find early sellers here. We move down and we come a little bit below our 200 bar moving average and we move back above and we find them again. And this time we can't get above this level, so the market comes right down. So we're developing a um, a nice little area up there where you as a trader can lean against the next time the market comes up. And so the market comes right up to that level right here. Uh, we have this uh, break, break uh, of the pack right here. We start moving higher. We break above the 100 and 200 bar moving average here. If you're failing below, we come back up to that level. And boy, you know now we have another one. Now we start to develop, develop the pattern even even more, and, and we continue on the downside. Now let's take a look at you know other levels here. Uh, we can look at this low right here and compare it to these highs right here, this low right here, this highs right here, um, and we break through the level. Just because it, it has a support here and resistance at this level, uh, when the market starts, when the market fails uh, at here, the 100 bar moving average, it has a momentum that's going to be able to get it through that level. And you can see the market moving sharply to the down, down, downside there. And and so the, these levels become levels of energy where either you're going to get a bounce or you're going to get a breakthrough. And we, we break back up to the upside, come back up to the 100 bar moving average. Where do we come down to? We come down and test this level level right here again. And we find support where there was old support, where there was old resistance, and where the market bases off of that level. These are the types of clues, folks, that you want to take in your trading, that you want to um, in, a, in a smaller trend environment. To, to be able to have these lines in place, to be able to react off of them uh, when the market gives you those opportunities. And when the market comes down here and the market start, is breaking really fast to the downside and we start to break through the 100 bar moving average and break through this uh, support level and break through this line right here, it takes off to the downside. And what does it do? It fails. And where do we find support? Boom, right to the upside. And